Hey Chosen One, this video is for you, and we're talking about relationships. This is part 15 in my Chosen One series. Relationships with the Chosen One. Everybody wants to be in a relationship with Chosen One. Mm -hmm. Until they realize they got work to do. Uh, until they realize that the Chosen One don't even need you. Did you hear me? Chosen One don't need you. The Chosen One understands ain't no marriage and no kingdom. The Chosen One just love you just because they love you. A lot of people in the matrix can't understand that, right? Because the people, they out there performing this thing called conditional love. I love you because this. I love you because that. Because you do that. And they want someone that requires them to do, do, do. Because the people don't know how to be, be, be just yet, right? What you need me to do? You want me to go to the store? What? What you need? Huh? What you want? You want me to do? You want me to do? No. There are actually people that will be like, Am I boring? And so the chosen one is like, are you boring? Wait, I ain't, I ain't here because I want a circus act. You can't just sit down. You all right? <laughs> and so a person that's unfulfilled, that's, you know, that hasn't gotten to know themselves, they wouldn't be the best person to be in a relationship with no chosen one because the chosen one. It's not an ugly thing. It's not a masculine energy thing. It's just the chosen one is whole, baby. And we're going to need you to be whole, too. You're going to have to put on your big girl drawers, yeah? Or your big boy boxes. You got a pair? Anyway, <laughs> the type of people that the chosen one is going to be having chemistry or connection with is going to be both polarities. Because remember about the light. Everybody attracts to the light. A lot of chosen ones get attracted to what they call the narc, right? In the simply environment. You'll hear that on social media all the time. But that's purposeful. Keep in mind, the chosen one will represent a positive, right? Positive energy. The narc will represent a negative. Just like me on this video, how I'm giving back to mankind and I'm talking in this series to chosen ones. This is my act of service for those that are maybe not just there yet, right? The chosen one in relationships. <laughs> turned around and helped that one that ain't there yet that negative polarity such as that narc and that's why a lot of them get introduced to that narc and sometimes that narc could bring them down 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 but that just showed the chosen one where they at so the chosen one getting or having chemistry with that particular narc is necessary oh yeah it's necessary because nothing just happens the chosen one learns something from that narc because the narc shows that chosen one up you forgot about this because I triggered you right here. You got a purge from this here. But don't think that that, that, that that narc just showing the chosen one something. The chosen one is showing that narc or teaching that narc awareness. Because the narc is not conscious of his beingness at all. Right? It's very unaware. So both of them are having an energy, energy exchange. There's always going to be an energy exchange, chosen ones. Always. And nothing is just happening. Right? So that's purposeful. That's a soulmate. They are mating with the soul. Matter of fact, everybody in the simulated environment is a soulmate. Because everybody can make you see something. A part of you, these are your reflections. You can't help but to stand in the mirror and see yourself when you stand in that mirror through your reflections. Okay? Life is happening through you, chosen one. And if you believe that, oh, oh my person is, is in the non physical, ain't here, well, so shall it be. There's no such thing as no one person for the soulmate. I mean, there's no such thing as one person, one twin flame in a boundless universe. You think they one? No. Ain't no one. But if you cap yourself off to your mindfulness and your thinking, there'll be one. Well, he died. Or, well, he didn't come forth in this realm. Well, all you crazy. Create another one. True thought. Asking you shall receive. True thought. So, I share with you about the relationship with an art. That's the positive and the negative. The narc being the negative and the chosen one being the positive. But then the chosen one can also have a relationship with the positive. And that positive will be another chosen one. So the same frequency that's being of an act of service to mankind. And them two, these are very rare. When these two come together, their energy alone of union causes other people to expand become conscious, turn on their light, because they're both teamed up, kind of like, I don't know her name, I think her name is Elizabeth, that guy, Billy Carson and Elizabeth, two conscious people, 
gang gang, helping mankind, like right, on a massive level. It, it, it wreaks that type of energy and it's pure love. It's pure love. I love you just because I love you. It's none of that unconditional stuff. They don't see, they don't see that she Asian or whatever she is. They don't see tall short. They, they don't see none of that. It's pure. It's unconditional. Mm. A lot of people in relationships with um, the chosen one that aren't there yet, if it's not two conscious beings, the other person will feel like they're not needed. You know, they don't feel, they feel like they need to do, do, do instead of be, be, be. Because of the lack of their knowing for themselves, a chosen one in a relationship, chosen one properly, as it pertains to even orgasms, probably know how to make themselves without touching themselves experience one. You know, a chosen one already know that it ain't that other person touch that I'm feeling. It's my ability to feel myself, because life is ultimately happening through the chosen one. Mm -hmm. So this is where it is, is, is like a no need. This is why a lot of chosen ones are single. Because like, they're really not. There's really no such thing as single. It's like I have so many soulmates. I have so many lovers. Because I've made it with my soul. Like right? Even the birds of the air that's for her right now all above me. They're chirping all around me. They're in love with me. Everything, everyone, all of the forces are in love with the chosen one. They're in love. They whisper sweet nothing to you every day, all the time. Mm -hmm. But for some people, it'll be difficult to be in a relationship with the chosen one when they don't know themselves. So what is the answer there? What's the thing to do there? Get to know yourself. Because the chosen one can help you see yourself. Oh, I guarantee you. And for any chosen one, a narc can't dim your light. A narc can't dim your light. You can transmit that energy. A narc should not be dimming your light. Because it's always the more powerful one that wins. Well, you're not powerful? You're telling on yourself. Part 16. Let's talk about ascensions. Ascensions for the chosen one.